Call to Arms is the 26th and final episode of the fifth season of the science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, 124th episode overall. Many reoccurring characters make appearances including Garrick, Weyun, Dukat, Martok, Lita, and Zeal. Plot <inaudible> 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 Upon learning that the Romulans and other major powers have signed non-aggression pacts with the Dominion, Starfleet Command orders Captain Benjamin Sisko to prevent further Dominion reinforcements from reaching Kardashir, the first foothold in the Alpha Quadrant. A plan is devised to block the entrance to the wormhole with a field of self-replicating mines Rom's idea, but the mines cannot be activated until they are entirely deployed, this task will take several hours to complete. Shortly after deployment begins, Weyun declares that Deep Space Nine will be attacked unless the mines are removed. Knowing that Starfleet reinforcements are unavailable, Sisko asks General Martok to patrol the border while the Defiant continues deployment. Sisko also notifies Kira that he will endorse the non aggression pact offered to Bajor by the Dominion, in the hope that it will keep Bajor out of the coming fight and in turn, war. Rom and Lita are married by Sisko in his capacity as the emissary and a Starfleet captain. As the Dominion fleet approaches, Sisko orders a civilian emergency evacuation of DS-9. Starfleet and Bajoran militia personnel remain to defend the station until the mines are completely deployed. Dominion forces attack and are met by DS-9's armaments and Martok's vessel, the Rotaran. After the minefield is activated, Sisko orders the Starfleet personnel to evacuate as well. The Bajoran militia remains aboard the station, as do Quark, Rom, Morn, and Jake Sisko, who intends to serve as a reporter for the Federation News Service while the station is occupied by the Dominion. Before surrendering DS9, Kira disables the station's systems by activating a preset computer program. Cisco informs the Starfleet personnel that while the station was being captured, a combined Starfleet Klingon task force had wiped out the Dominion shipyards in the Alpha Quadrant. Weyun reveals that it cost over 50 ships to take the station. Aboard the Defiant, Sisko is informed that Jake is not aboard and must still be on DS9. O'Brien asks whether or not they should go back for him. An angered Sisko responds that he can't risk the ship and its crew for one person, even if he is his son. He is a man, Sisko reasons as he slumps back into his seat and says, Maintain current course. On Deep Space Nine, Kira, Odo, and Quark welcome the Dominion aboard the station. Afterwards, Gul Dukat reclaims his old office in Ops, where he notes the baseball left behind, a message to him that Sisko will return. As Sisko faces the viewscreen with a defiant glare, the Defiant and Rotaran circle around to join the massive Federation – Klingon task force. Topic. Production Deep Space Nine was produced during a transition period between motion control work with physical models and computer-generated images. A call to arms used a mixture of older type model work such as motion control and computer-generated special effects. Production of the motion control shots took weeks to get the desired look. Topic: Reception. In 2016, Hollywood Reporter rated Call to Arms 6th out of all Star Trek Deep Space 9 episodes. In 2016, Gizmodo rated Call to Arms, 
31st out all Star Trek television episodes produced up to that time. Wired's Deep Space Nine Binge Guide did not recommend skipping Call to Arms in the 176 DS9 episodes.